Okay, so I test fitted the ignition, the new Titronix ignition. So there it is in its place, right? And I just, you know, none of these wires are run correctly. So what I had to do was, it comes with this, you know, this plug that goes right into the, uh, the, um, the stock loom. And then it has this guy, this red wire, and it has a male and female plug on it. That's to provide power to the ignition unit. So what I did was, I spliced into this 12 volt switched brown wire that comes off the, this coil and I put a uh, double female uh, Dealey <laughs> terminal here, ran this red wire, and this I'm gonna route this, and I'm gonna put it in the loom, I'm gonna tape it, don't worry about it. Ran it down here with a male to plug into there, and then I'm gonna, um, this guy here, I'm gonna you know, put heat shrink on it and wrap it in tape. Um, but this is pretty simple if you know what you're doing, right? It's a pretty simple installation if you know that you gotta put 12 volt power to it. So what we're gonna do, uh, we are going to turn it on, turn the bike on. Now I've already had this thing, I already tested it once because I wanted to make sure that the whole thing didn't catch on fire when I turned it on. So check this out. We have, all right, we have power to the ignition. We are going to fire it up and see what happens. That, my friends, is a very healthy, oops, sorry about that. That is a very healthy sounding 750 triple engine. So, um, yeah, the Titronix ignition works. It's plug and play, goes right on. Fix this thing's ignition problems. Uh, it obviously needs timed. I'm gonna have to time it with the timing light. Um, I have to adjust the carburetor's uh, uh, idle, and then I have to you know, vacuum sync the carbs. I haven't even done that yet. Uh, but yeah, I'm real happy now this bike can move on to the next phase, which is actually put a front end on it.